daylight come and me wanna go home. Yeah! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 71. Woo! Let's have some CBD to celebrate. Uh oh. You know what I just realized? I didn't uh, change the color of my light. Oh well. You're getting just regular light today. Ooh. That tingles. You're getting regular light today, motherfuckers. <laughs> yes, yes. So I've got I've got shit on lockdown now. I'm coming into uh into some stuff. I reorganized everything in here. You can't really see it, but I got the the Fat Max over here. If you don't know what the Fat Max is, I'll tell you later. Then I got, you know, a nice setup over here. I now have my keyboard just sitting on my bed here. Or not my bed, but a bed that is here. I tried to get rid of this bed by standing it up, getting it out of the way, but it just eesh, didn't work out. But it's fine here. And then I got... This mic I've had for a millennia, but I could never get this fucking audio interface to work. I have two of them. I couldn't get them both to work. So what I'm, you know, I think I found the solution. I gotta order another piece, and then maybe I can get this mic going. Hopefully, hopefully, I think I found the solution after all these years. I also got a nice little container here for all these cords I had laying around and I organized that and then on the way in the mail I've got a new uh, green cover for my mic it'll fit on this one or the or that one uh, what else do I have coming oh a new tripod for my camera because the setup I have right now it works but it's a uh, it's a little rinky dink a little rinky rinky stinky dink of a of a setup here so if you're not familiar with the dynamite gizmo podcast get out of here all with uh every episode i write on a card a bunch of topics uh or sometimes i just write gibberish sometimes i don't write anything but this it's been a little bit since i've done a podcast so I'm able to prepare. I've been able to prepare better. And I got a nice finagly list right here. Okay? So we got some shits to talk about. Bruh. We got some stuff to lay down on the law. Ooh wee. Um, but I think to start it off, we will have a little refresher. A little refreshing. Higgity hoop. I'm not wearing pajama pants this time. I'm wearing shorts. Woot. So let's uh let's have a quick one and then jump into the into the snag. This is one of my <coughs> all-time fave <coughs> bongs. You can see it broke up here. I had to JB weld that shit. It's a cheech glass. There's a little purple dripping, drip slime things all over the place. If you can see inside, there's like an orange slice. But the perk up here broke off somehow. And it's just floating around in there. So I haven't used it in a while, but I I like it so much that I cleaned her out 
And I said, I gotta fucking bring that one back into commission. Just for a little bit. Because I miss it. I had a lot of good, a lot of good memories with that bong. Even though I didn't have it very long. <coughs> Stop rhyming. Please. Nobody asked. Oh... Uh, uh, today I made some made two loaves of banana bread, and they did not. I don't know what's going on, but they did not taste very good. Maybe I'll try them again, but when I tried them fresh out of the oven, I let them cool for a bit, and then I tasted it, and nope, nope, didn't didn't work out. I don't know why. I followed the recipe to a T. This isn't my first time making banana bread either. I've made it plenty of times before. My hair is so long. I kind of like it though. I kind of like it. I want to grow it out. Just want to see. I'm getting used to it going in my eyes and shit now. What I would do, what I would do before is I'd say, yeah, you know what? I'm going to let my hair grow out. And then it would grow out and it would get in my eyes and in my face and it would drive me nuts. So, to the point where I would just say, fuck it, and get a haircut. But this time, no, no. <laughs> I am going to try and then leave it grow. Let it grow out. Damn, look at this desk. It's, it's, every single bolt or screw that's holding this thing together is loose. So the entire desk shifts and wiggles and the support structures are all crooked because it's not tight. None of it's tight. I don't know who put this desk together, but they didn't tighten anything. So maybe one day I'll have to do that. But I'm not doing it right now because I'm in the middle of a fucking podcast. That would be very rude of me. And stupid. Um, What else has been going on? Mur uh, murder. Lots of murder. Uh, I've been on Netflix. Watching all the murder documentaries they have. Because there's quite a few. There's the Ted Bundy ones. There's the... You know, the other ones. There's this one with... There's a guy... You hear those children? Fucking children, am I right? Shouldn't you be in school? It's a Sunday. Where was I? Oh, I didn't shut my door. Come here, Olive. Come here. It's supposed to make it more sound. Sound absorbent. Oh, I got my friggin'. I guess that doesn't matter. You can't even see it. That's fine. Oh, right. I don't have my camera positioned properly. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, but if I move it, it's going to fuck everything up. Let's see. Mm. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. That's more like it. See, now you can see the tabla. And the fucking, the picture, the backwards picture. And I'm centered a bit better. That's much better. You can still see the mushrooms. Oh, it's nice. You can see full keyboard. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Fantastico. We were talking about murder shows. Murder. They're very interesting. It's very captivating. There, oh, yeah, the guy, there was a guy strapped a bomb, or he didn't do it to himself. Someone, a group of people made him strap a bomb to himself. I'm spoiling it a bit, even though they show it in the first episode. But he robs a bank. He's got a cane that's actually a cane gun. And he goes out, sits on the road, and he gets handcuffed by the police and all that. And he's like, hey, let me go. It's going to blow if I don't find these clues. Because he's got pieces of paper that give him clues. And 
you know, it leads them to one destination to the next, and each destination has the next clue, you know, for the next spot. And the cycle continues, and the cops weren't letting them go. They just, he, they just sat there with their guns pointed at him while he was saying, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow up. And he blew up. He blew up. He just exploded. And then, this, then it, you know, they re, they reveal the story and they uncover the the plot, the plot. Try to figure out, you know, who did it, what's going on. And then there's another murder that's connected to it, and it's it's very captivating and interesting. You you may enjoy it, or you may not. Don't know. Again, last episode, I think it was maybe the episode before. I wasn't in a laughing mood. In this episode, I'm still not in a laughing mood. I don't know. I'm in. I'm just in one of these weird lulls. Right now. I'm not sure what it is that's making me feel this way. Well, I mean, it might be because I'm on this new medication. Which is probably it. If it numbs me that bad, though, I've been on, well. I've been on a medication for like over three years, antidepressants, and then I, I switched recently because I'd come to a realization that they weren't doing what I thought they were doing. And then these ones definitely are an improvement. But I hope it doesn't just make me like this numb, emotionless person. Emotionless person. Because if that's the case, then I don't know if I could do that. You know, I don't want to be an emotionless non-laugher. I like laughing. Laughing is laughing is fun. Right, Olive. Olive, come here. Can you see him? Nope. Now you can. There he is. Oval. Whoa. You're slipping. Look, it's oval. It's Olive. Oliver. Oliver the little rat dog. He's a little rat dog. Moo, 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 moo. Rats. Chasing rats. Chasing rats in the field. He's a rat terrier. You can't tell? Rat terrier slash chihuahua. That's what all of it is. So he's bred to catch rats. You ever seen them online? <clears throat> Look up uh, rat terriers um, catching rats. There's just one specific video of this farmer. And he's got like a pile of hay on the ground. And there's hundreds of rats. But they're all in the, in the in the nesting hay, hay in the hay nesting, and he sends his dogs out, and they just dig, find, grab, shake till they're dead, drop the rat, and go find. It. Let's go. Let's go look it up right now. You know what? You don't have to look it up yourself. We'll look it up right fucking now. That's right. We'll fucking look it up. We're gonna fucking look it up, bro. We're gonna fucking look it up. Da -da 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 -da. Hold on, I'm just, you know, gotta, 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 gotta set up the screen capture. Okay, here we go. Check this shit out. Check yep, this yep, shit. Yep, yep, get up, get up. Good dog. Look at him. Look at those dogs. These are bigger dogs. Ratting with terriers. So the act is called ratting. Look, look at him. Oops, I paused it. He's getting him. Oh, see that? That's what Oliver's supposed to do. There's a schnauzer. Oh. Now, if you're one of these animal lovers, you're not going to want to see this. Even though it is just a rat. So this is the video I was talking about. It wasn't hay, it's just a bunch of dirt. 
They probably need that area for for, for crops or whatever. Yeah, get the rat. There's one. Yeah. Well done. See, they grab him by the neck, shake violently till the rat's neck breaks. And they, they just die. And they love it. Like, look at these dogs. They absolutely love it. Oh, if that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, get him. Oh, he must have stabbed that rat. They'll end up in a fight. Yeah. Are all these dogs different types of terriers? Oh, yeah. Oh, what's he doing? That guy in the back's just hitting them with a stick. Wow. One of the rats bit him. Anyway, that's that. That's ratting with terriers. How cool. <laughs> so speaking of which, um, my friends, they own a farm. Okay? They, f they freaking own a goat farm. Who would have thought? And on said goat farm, they have, well, they have goats and they have, they have, uh, chickens as well and dogs I'm not sure if they're gonna get anything else but what I was thinking is that yeah I'll include footage from the goat farm I've said that before but I also am thinking about just doing a podcast right in the middle of the goat pen with all the goats surrounding me fuck wouldn't that be a cool <laughs> that would be a cool video no one I bet no one has done that. A podcast in a goat, in a goat, goat farm, <laughs> pile of goats, sniffing me. Maybe they'll ram the table and knock all my equipment over. That wouldn't be very cool, but it would be funny to watch. So I think I'm definitely going to consider doing that. Definitely. Imagine if it rained while I was doing it, though. And I gotta grab all the shit. Well, if I felt like it was gonna rain, I wouldn't do it. But you know, you know those days where it's not gonna rain. If it's sunny and there's not a cloud in the sky, that would be the best time to do it. And it, like again, it's gonna be fucking hot this year. Like every every year, it just gets hotter. Rain though. I really like rain. Like, I really like like it. It's, I don't know. Especially thunderstorms. That shit's the best. Couldn't ask for a better day. If if I wake up to a, to just a downpour of rain, puts me in the best mood. If I wake up on a sunny day, puts me in a shit mood. And I'm not even joking, like, there's so much stuff in my past that I'm realizing now that even if it is just little things, it traumatized me to the point where no matter how often I try to do things, I can't get over this trauma that's stuck in my head. You know what I mean? The shit from when you were a kid that sticks with you. And, you know, wake liking thunderstorms more than than a sunny day goes back to the fact that I I never wanted to play outside well I did I played outside a lot but there was a lot of times that I didn't want to play outside I'd rather just sit inside and play video games or watch watch movies or something and so the rainy day was an opportunity to do that. And and uh, those were the best times. Whereas, like, I have a lot of days where I was, you know, my mother was like, hey, you're going outside and you're going to just deal with it. And those times, 
were negative to me. And I think back and it's like, ugh. Because I hated it. I just didn't want to do it. There was times I didn't want to go outside, but I had to. And so I think that's why, or that might be a reason why, I prefer thunderstorms over sunny days. Now, I'm not saying I hate sunny days. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't like a sunny day? You can go to the beach or whatever. But there's nothing worse than when it's like too hot outside and then you gotta fucking you can't even you can't even walk without sweating I hate that like that's not fun to me where every movement you make causes you to sweat cause it's just so hot and I sweat a lot not as much as some people can sweat but Man, I don't know. I don't like sweating. I hate sweating in in the bed as well. Sleeping, which I have been. Like the past couple of days, I wake up in a ball of sweat. And it's so uncomfortable, you don't even want to stay in the bed. Tired or not, you gotta get up. At least me, anyway. Because I hate the feeling of sleeping in soaking wet sheets it's gross I hate it so you gotta get up and then like air off sometimes I even grab a towel and put it on my bed because I hate I hate sweat put a towel on the bed and then well first I would I towel myself off get all that stinky sweat off put the towel on the bed and then flip the blanket over to the non-sweaty side <laughs> and then and then go back to sleep and then wake up in some more sweat and then you gotta wash all your shit you know it's just a process whereas when it's just like a comfortable temperature outside or even if it's cold outside like winter you're not gonna sweat and you can always find a way to warm yourself no matter how cold it is you got fire and all this shit but if it's too fucking hot you're you're fucked anywhere outside your house you're fucked because you can have air conditioning and i mean there's air conditioning in pretty well every building and every vehicle but if you have to go outside you can only take so much clothes off you know, but when it's cold outside, you can you can put more layers on and get warm. Sure, your your mobility and movement is uh, a bit lacking because you're so poofy. But when it's when it's so hot out, there's nothing you can do unless you buy a fancy suit that has air conditioning in it, which you can get now. But it's not popular enough. So I'm wondering if in the future we're going to find some way to just be comfortable all year round, no matter what the temperature is, especially with the fact that the the planet is, is getting hotter. You know, whether you believe in global warming or not, the, the planet is getting hotter, whether it's natural or man man-made man circumstances man man stuff human stuff <laughs> um look at the you can look at the data and you know with no matter what you, you can just see that the earth you can see you can feel you can notice the earth is getting hotter every year so there's no there's no denying it Again, I'm not saying whether or not I think global warming is a real thing, because I'm not anything of an of an authority. I'm not authority. I'm 24, and pancakes are all I eat. So, what do I know about global 
performing. And I'm going to be looking back at these podcasts when I'm, let's say, 30 years old and I'm still making podcasts. And I'm going to say, look at that dumb idiot talking about nothing. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. But hey, at least I'm making a podcast and I'm doing something. You know? You got to start and stick and continue. And eventually you'll get where you want to be. You'll do what you got to say. And if you come for free, I don't bring Tempe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I right? And maybe someday I'll have a co host, or maybe th- th- three co hosts. Wouldn't that be cool? I have uh, enough audio interface space for four mics, I've got four inputs. I could have four people. Unfortunately, though, I only have one mic that, you know, has the proper input. I mean, I have this mic, but this is just USB. When people see this, they're like, oh, that guy's an amateur. Fucking amateur. Okay, and then I I know. Hopefully by next... Well... I still gotta wait a whole week before I get the uh, the stuff I need for my interface. So, I'll pr- well, maybe I'll get I might be able to get one more podcast filmed this week because there's a lot going on. Maybe one or two. I don't know. But within three episodes, the new mic should be working. Should. I can't tell you how long I've been trying to get these interfaces to work. I've been, it's been years, not constant, trying to figure it out, but I'd, you know, spend days trying to figure it out. And it's not like I'm, I'm computer illiterate and I don't know what I'm doing. Like the things are plug and play. I don't want to get into it. But anyway, it's all just a learning. And we're all just learning. It's a learning curve process. Chocolate rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. And you see, you don't even realize, but I I went through a few topics already from the card. And you didn't even realize I switched between topics because I'm a smooth transitioner. I'm a smooth, are you? Smooth, smell, smell, smell. Snoo, 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 snoo. I don't really want to snoo. But I gotta look back at the card because I can't remember what else is on there. So now you're gonna notice that I'm uh, doing stuff, that I'm switching topics, that I, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, bra. <clears throat> Remember I was talking about how my pills are doing stuff to my emotions? Alright. I've also been noticing I only find stuff funny once. Now. Like, like if, I, if I'm watching a video and it makes me giggle really hard. Like, you know, the real deep belly laughs that you just have so much fun. Those kind of laughs. I'll get that, and then I'll come back like the next day and be like, I want to watch that video again to laugh again, and I'll watch it, and it's just not even a little bit of a laugh. Now, I don't know what that's about. I can't laugh at things twice anymore. I think I'm overthinking. That just might have been a, a specific thing that was just only funny at that moment. But I don't know. I'll keep you updated on this pill situation. And if it fucks with me, you'll know. You'll be the first to know.
this is my therapy. You're my therapist, but you don't get paid. So, enjoy. There's no one watching anyway. I'm literally just talking to a electronic device. I edit it, and then I upload it to a website where hundreds of millions of people visit every second. But yet, I still have zero views on pretty well all my videos. Isn't that fun? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But it's the shrugs. You got to struggle. You got to take the shrugs and uh, strug. You know? Strug. Struggle. Struggle! And hope for the best. Hope someday you will run into a breast. Oh, you can't see it. You can't see it. And yes, we have Reddit. We have some Reddit posts. It's probably going to be an every episode thing now. Where I just have Reddit posts, Reddit posts, Reddit posts, Reddit posts, Reddit posts. And what I should do, rather than uh, have have uh, a bunch prepared, ready to go, I should just scroll through the popular page or my home page. So you can see what I follow and just react live to my, you know, my first time ever seeing the posts rather than finding the ones I've already seen and saved. That's, 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 you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write that down on the, on the next card so that I know to do it. So excuse me if, uh. I'm not paying attention to the camera. It's very hard to write and talk at the same time. Humans are not meant to multitask, you know that, right? I mean, some can, but they are they are practice talents, okay? It's not easy. It's not fucking easy. And don't you fucking tell me it's easy, because it ain't. If you're not used to it, People say, and I used to say, when I'd see someone who texts on their phone and you're talking to them and they say nothing, I would always say, oh, you're one of those people who can't talk and text at the same time. And then they don't even hear you saying it because they're too busy texting. I hate that. I fucking hate how people are just on their phone so much. I'm honestly not one of those people. If I'm with a friend or friends... I barely look at my phone. And I have my main contacts. Each one of them has a very specific text tone and ring tone. So I know who's texting me. And if it's someone I need to answer, I'll pull it out and answer it. But if it's someone I can just, you know, blow off. Because I'm hanging with friends, I'll blow it off. And I don't need to pay attention to Twitter constantly and Instagram and f fuck Facebook. I don't even use that shit anymore. It's all... I sound like a grumpy old man. But it's true. Maybe I should accept it. Yeah, let's just accept it. Fuck being mad about it. People are going to be on their phones. And it's going to be constant and more constant. It might even get to a point where human uh, interactions in the same room is going to be a rare thing. And it's going to be weird. Just like now, just showing up at, someone ho at someone's house and knocking on the door and asking them to hang out is very un unheard of and very strange. If someone knocks on your door and you don't, you didn't know it was going to happen. It's frightening. And then I also look at video games. We used to have to 
be in the same room to play video games together. But now, you could be in Japan, and I could be at the bottom of the ocean, and we can still play together. Um, so, with all this social media and internet uh, attraction that we have, and that's a bad word, you know what I'm trying to say, we have this stuff. So what's it going to do to us? Is it going to get to a point where human interactions is uncommon? And also look at schools now. Back in the day, remember getting, you know, going to school, and then, you know, it's winter time, and you have a snow day. It was like the best, just the absolute best news you could hear. You would, you would wake up early that morning because you figured it was going to be a snow day. You look out your window, it's blizzarding outside. You turn on the radio. At least that's what I did. You turn on the radio, and that's how you find out if school's canceled. You gotta listen to the songs, you gotta listen to the news, and you gotta wait till he says, Okay, now we have a list of the Cape Breton Regional School District cancellations. Uh, the following schools are canceled. And you'd be like, yes, come on. Please be my school. Please be my school. And it was, and they, you know, they'd always start at the schools that were like so fucking far away from you. And then by the time you were at the bottom of the list, and you'd be listing off the schools like Brooklyn Elementary, canceled. Squashfield Elementary, canceled. Cockabue Academia and Baby. You know, you go through them and then you get to yours. Ashby Elementary, canceled. Yeah! <laughs> oh, and then it was Jump for Joy. Shut, shut that radio off because you got what you need and you get out of here. And you go call your friends and, you, you know, you got... You just plan stuff. You just do stuff. Because shit's canceled. And you got you got all kinds of snow to play with. It was great. But now... Now kids can't even experience that. One... Um, well, actually... No, no, no. Here's what I'll say. So... School cancellations under any circumstance now... Because of the fact that we have access to the internet... And pretty well everyone has access to the internet now. And everyone has a computer or at least a phone or a tablet. Some sort of device they can use to connect to the internet. So now because of that, when there's school cancellations, the teachers just say, Okay, pull out your laptop at home and open Skype or whatever program they use. And we're going to have a lesson. School may be canceled, but we're still going to learn. I can't even imagine what that must feel like. That would be horrible. Why would they, you know, snow days, snow days, it creates a person. How am I, what am I trying to say here? Snow days are like integral for the development of a young mind. I can't tell you how, like, I don't remember a lot about my childhood. Well, I do, but I I don't. But I will tell you, I remember pretty well every snow day I've ever had. Because it was such, it was so... It's just so... (laughs) What's the word? I don't know. It's like... It's just a... It's a big day. It's a big moment. You got all this build-up and excitement. And then you you finally find out if school's canceled. And it is. And if... And then there's the times where... You know, you're listening on the radio for your school. And they don't say your school. And you're like, fuck. Oh. Phlegm. (coughs) And you're like, fuck. I gotta go to school today. That sucks. It's not like that anymore. You know, even if school's canceled for hurricane, tornado, whatever, the teacher's still gonna teach you because of the internet. So I'm also wondering. 
uh, are kids even going to go to school in the future? Or is it just going to be all online stuff? Which I, th I think that could definitely be a possibility. Because there's so many online courses right now, as it is. Even when I was in high school, I did a few of my classes online. I didn't have a teacher. I had to do it myself. And you're seeing more and more of that. Even universities and colleges have online stuff where you don't even have to go to the college. You just got to pay a shit ton of money and do it yourself. So I wonder, I feel like that would be a possibility because then they don't have to pay teachers anymore, but yet they can make a big profit. And you know, if the government has a way of making a profit, they're going to fucking do it. Whether it, you know, if it's gonna, if it's gonna harm the social life of these children and they're gonna develop wrong, who cares? I'm, this is the government's point of view, what I'm saying. That's what the government thinks. They say, who cares? We're making money and that's all that matters. And, uh, it's just, you know, it's gonna keep accelerating like this. People are, children, people are going to be more and more afraid of interacting face-to-face. -face. It's just going to be all through the internet. You find your wife on the internet, which you can do right now. You can order a, ma a bride, or you can just go on Tinder and find some ch some chick. Or grinder or whatever it is you're into I don't know but if you really think about it everything we do can revolve with the internet even shopping you want fast food you don't even have to get up you can sit on your couch call postmates or skip the dishes and they'll bring it to you post and post stuff places like postmates will bring you, it doesn't even have to be food, they'll fucking go to Walmart, buy you a, a new TV, and they'll bring it to you, you gotta pay them, you, you know, you go on Amazon, buy, buy your fucking whatever, buy your light bulbs, buy floor mats, buy a couch on the Bricks website, and they'll come bring it to you, like, Anything you can think of could be done through the internet or with and if your job can be taken over with robots We're not gonna need humans to interact with each other Robots are gonna do all the hard shit and we're just gonna sit back and do the easy stuff uh, And it's all gonna be done through computers <laughs> And it's kind of, it's not even, it's not even like, I'm just writing something. It's not even a scary thought to me. Like, I'm kind of willing to have that happen. I mean, why not? Why not let fucking robots do all the work? Why do people care that their job is going to be taken over by a robot? That just means you don't have to do that anymore. So what if you don't have your job anymore? Like, so what? Who gives a fuck, really? Why does everybody care about work so much? And I know it's because they want to make money. But I've never cared about money. Ever. And I still don't. I really don't. Even though I know I need money and I'm... I am working to make it. I just wish that wasn't the case. Like, there's got to be another way we can run this fucking planet. We're doing, we're doing it in a way, the same way, or at least it revolves around the same way we thought fucking however many centuries ago 
It's all based off those ideas. Why can't we just sit down and just, you know, come up with something new, some new way of, of government? Why does it have to stick to capitalism or democracy or socialism? Like, why? Why? Obviously, we see that there's good and bad things from both. Can't we combine them and come up with something new? And even if it doesn't work, you know, that's all part of it. Not, none of them have worked. You know, fascism, communism, they... You go to Cuba, they say they like the fact that they're communist because they're more happier and they share everything. You know, not everybody agrees that that is the right thing to do. And there's a lot of good things to communism, and then there's a lot of bad things to communism. And then same with democracy, same with socialism, whatever. So none of them are perfect. And if we create a new one and it's not perfect, it's, it doesn't matter. You just, we should keep trying different things until something works out. Because stuff could get done a lot quicker if we could just act on things rather than relying on currency. The entire world has their own type of currency. And everybody revolves around that specifically to live. Yeah, why? That's so weird. We have all the resources. We have the, you know, and what we need to live, like food and water. And we can build shelters. But for some reason, we need that, that motivation to do that stuff. And the motivation comes from this fake thing. It's literally fake. We made it up. It's just m it's just money. Money's not a thing. It's not real. It's like we're all, you know, we're all just playing a game. And we're just following the rules of the game. I want to make, you know, everyone and everyone's goal is to just make a bunch of money. So they can trade that money for things. But why can't we just have the things? What's wrong with sharing the wealth? Why is everyone so against that idea? I mean, why not? What's wrong with that? Sure, there may be bad. I mean, obviously that's that's communism, right? The sharing where everyone's equal. No one makes more or less than anyone else. I mean, I'm not an expert on this stuff. But whatever, you know, whatever doesn't work in communism or socialism can't you take parts of democracy, parts of conservatism, which is democracy, but you know what I'm saying? Parts of everything. The good parts of everything and smush it into one. We could we could figure something out, right? There's got to be. There's got to be a friggin' way. I've been talking about this for a while. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't really, I don't, but I do, because it's stupid. I live every day thinking how stupid we are. Like imagine, it's like, you know, you realize how stupid all this is, but you have to, you have to follow the rules. You have to follow the stupid rules. It's like, 
I don't know, imagine, it's like imagining yourself in a prison. Obviously, it's not, it's not anything close to what an actual prison is, but metaphorically, you're trapped in this, you're trapped in this society, and you gotta follow the their rules. If you want to be in this society, you do what we tell you. You pay taxes and work at a shit job. Work wherever. You got to make you have to make money somehow or you're punished by either being homeless and if you're homeless there's more possibility you're going to end up in jail and you're probably going to want to be in jail during certain types of weather because it's a warm place to sleep. So It's so fucked. I could talk for a while about this. But I don't want to because I, I'm, not, I'm not an authority on this subject. And there's nothing worse than someone blabbing about bullshit that they don't even know what they're talking about. And that's me. <laughs> Just like I said. Thir when I'm 30 years old. I'll be looking back. At uh, these podcasts. And I'll say look at this stupid fuck. Listen to the baloney he's spitting. Fucking Bologna. Ooh. I said Bologna. Fucking Bologna. Ooh, I said Bologna. So I think we'll end this podcast with some Reddit posts. And then we'll call her a day. So right here, I thought this was pretty interesting. Dinos people, you know, people have speculated. Well, it's the truth, isn't it? That birds are just dinosaurs. Most birds are, or all birds, evolved from dinosaurs. And, you know, this is obviously just a little joke, I think. But then I was thinking, like, we don't really know what a T-Rex looked like. We know from the skeleton, like, its shape, but we don't know if it had feathers we don't know what colors they were or whatever texture their skin could have been. If they even had whatever they had, you know. So imagine if a, if a T-Rex actually looked like this. The stubby arms. But they were wings. What if it was just like a wing, like a chicken wing. And chicken legs and a big fat fucking dinosaur face. What if this was a T-Rex? It's a possibility, right? Because that looks like one. Stubby arms, long legs. We would just see the bones. And that kind of looks like fingers. We don't know if they had feathers. Fucking amazing how you had the time and know how to do that so fast. Da, 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 da. Okay. Anyway, pretty cool, huh? Pretty fucking cool. A dino chicken. Oh, here we go. This is a starfish. A big one. Starfish are cool. I like Patrick. Patrick the star. From Spongebob. This title is, it's like some sort of awful face hugger. I guess you could say that. But look how it's moving. Isn't that weird? It's like it's not even... It's like it's f hovering. But I guess they have little legs on each tentacle. Or arm, whatever you call it. And that's how they move. I think. 
I don't know. It's kind of, it's a little creepy, but it's good. I like it. What is this? Service unavailable. Huh? Let's refresh. 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 Come into the sweet home. This is in the subreddit, A Normal Day in Russia. We've got a child on the swing. And in the background, uh, looks like multiple houses are on fire. And nobody really gives a shit. They're all kind of chilling, taking pictures, giggling. There's a child on the phone. Yeah. Happens all the time. Nothing to be worried about. Maybe the house was supposed to burn down. But that is something a child does during during a moment of uh, panic or fear or whatever. The child just has no idea what's, what's happening. All they care about is having fun. So... The, or maybe they maybe they could yeah they they could be fearful but the parent will say go play to distract them so they don't have to see the horror but i don't know if that's this case i think this kid's just swinging he's just a russian that's what they do now this was pretty interesting whoops check this out he flips, puts his beer on the bottom of his canoe, or kayak, I should say. He still hasn't spilt it. Oh, my leg. Oh, ooh, my leg. Ooh, baby, I love you. Oh, he got up. I missed it, but you saw it. He grabbed the beer. And also, I just want to say, you're probably noticing that sometimes the video is out of sync with the, with the, you know, with the screen cap. And I know it's so fucked, like, I'll, I'll sync it up perfectly and it's fine the first, like, I don't know. 30 seconds and then it'll just like go out of sync for some reason and then it'll come back into sync and then it'll go out of sync it's so f it doesn't make any sense to me i don't know what the hell is going on but it's a really f it's a p it's a fucking piss off what's going on why is all this shit unavailable what hold on what the hell Are you kidding me? Why isn't it loading? Ugh. Well, it looks like you won't get to see those. Titanic replica will set sail in 2022, following the same route as the original. And then this Adam fellow says, Good thing we melted all of our icebergs. <laughs> Global warming, and I, am I right? Did, didn't did Newfoundland, Canada just find a bunch of new icebergs? It's okay, though. Titanic had 16 watertight compartments, but just enough of them were breached to cause it to sink. So Clive Palmer is going to build his with 17 compartments. Ooh, baby, I love your way every day. Are you going to go on the new Titanic? Check this rabbit out. Snack time. Snack time. 
Don't worry, one of these videos I'll laugh. I feel bland, like I said. Oh, these guys. Strange Planet. You're not familiar with the Strange Planet comic thing? He's... The guy or girl who makes these... Oh, it's a guy. Nathan Pyle. They're great. It's basically like... He He's imagining what it would be like if aliens... Very intelligent aliens... Trying to... Be human. Be humans. Just aliens trying to be humans. So. I don't want to read them all, but like, look, look at this one. Tomorrow we awake, pre star, for strenuous actions. I can't just read. You gotta, you gotta check them out. Like, you'll read them and you'll understand. Strange Planet. Even as a book. Nathan W. Pyle. What does that say? Imagine pleasant nonsense. It's really, they're really funny and interesting. I highly recommend it. Hey, Alice, please go check it out, because I think you'll like it. Yes, you will, very much so. I do, 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 think so. I do think so. Um, with that being said, hopefully next podcast I'm a little more chipper, but it probably won't be. Um, so, no, I will be. I gotta be, right? There's no way. There's no fucking way. I can't even explain, like, how I feel right now. What exactly are these pills doing to me? They've numbed me to the world, to my emotions. I'm no longer a person. I'm consumed by the pills. Well, let's hope not. So, um, that's it for the Dynamite Jizmo podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> There's the Fat Max. See it? It's a big old toolbox, and it's just full of my paraphernalia. I got some stuff over there. You see? Okay, well that's it. There's Olive. Say hi, Olive. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. What? Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior Whoa. crocodile alligator. I drive a. Yeah, I know. I know it was shit. I know. Okay. The computers are taking over. They're fucking taking over, I'm telling you. We are fucked.